What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Canon M50 and how it changed my life completely for the better. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is not the Canon M50, but really it's about my YouTube channel and how it changed my life as well um, honestly about two and a half three years ago I started making drum cover videos and my only goal and purpose of making a drum cover video is to see how good I could make it I focused on the quality how good it looked I focused on the sound I barely put any effort in the drumming part and a lot of people might want to argue that because a lot of you guys I mean my channel was growing and a lot of you guys really enjoyed my drum covers. Um, the comments were always a hundred and something comments. You know, the likes were always in the 60s. Like, my drumming stuff was doing very good. I mean, I focused on the sound and production more than I did anything. And I think on YouTube, that's a big part in drum covers. The drum cover scene really, I guess you can call it a, a scene or group or whatever you want to call it. Um, the big part is production. If people don't have something really good to look at, they're gonna click away pretty quick. So my goal was to make it look as good as possible and sound as good as possible as well. So with saying that, I've literally fell in love with production. Me and my wife went and got a GoPro. Uh, it was like $500, that was stretching us pretty good. Went and got a GoPro to help with the production, get more camera angles. Um, I was shooting with cell phones a lot, which everybody knows cell phones are pretty awesome nowadays. So, you know, I did a lot of drum covers and they were doing good. And then I vlogged a little bit and I would use a cell phone for all of my vlogging. Of course, I went out and bought a little Spark drone and, uh, you know, that was fun. Got some footage with that. A lot of you guys enjoyed that as well. But it wasn't until February of 2019 that I went and picked this camera up which is the Canon M50, and this is the camera that everybody on YouTube said is a good starter camera. So I said, sure, it's, you know, it's a good price. It's, I think I paid 600 and something dollars for it with the starter pack lens that came with it, um, a battery and the camera. I think even a charger came with it. So I picked this up because I wanted my production to be even better. Not really for drum covers, but for vlogging is what I used it for because it has this, you know, if you guys clicked on this video, you probably own one of these. You probably know a lot about it. You know, you could vlog with it and it's a great camera. After I picked this camera up, of course, I made, I learned as much as I could about it. I went on YouTube, learned how to shoot the best video with it, learned as much as I could, went and got an ND filter for the lens I was using to make sure, you know, I can get some real crispy stuff when I was outside. So I, I, I was putting out a lot of videos. I was, uh, it, it, you know, having this camera kind of gave me the confidence to get hired and do uh, video work for people around, you know, my small town. And, um, you know, the videos, some of my work was getting out there. People was really enjoying it. I would do camera work, videography work with this camera along with drone work with, you know, my drone. And, you know, people was loving the stuff I was making for them. So, I mean, naturally word got out uh, that I could do this and more and more work came and come July of 2019, I mean, I, I bought this camera in February of 2019, did as much as I could with it, learned as much as I could with it. Come July 2019, a guy that owns a TV show, him and his manager called me. Um, apparently, a job I did for um, my uncle, uh, he really loved it and he called this guy, he had his number, they was in contact, and he called him and said a lot of good things about me. So they needed a person to shoot iCast, which is a huge fishing uh, expo. You go there, you know, he owns a TV show. He's the host of a really big TV show. So he needed a camera guy for those three days of iCast. And what we did is we walk around, did interviews, um, shot B-roll and everything. So. He called me, uh, you know, pretty much interviewed me over the phone. So he ended up sending the contract over and I looked it over and then he asked me if I wanted to work iCast with him. 
Um, it was three days and you know, I said, heck yeah, dude, this is a great opportunity. I was really excited and really stoked to do it. So come July, I forget which date it was, it was July something. I took off three days of work from the old job that I had because we can't forget I was still working full time at the other job. And anyways, I took this camera right here. Um, at this point, it was July, I bought it in February. I bought a crap ton of batteries for it, Canon batteries. I didn't get any third party batteries because that will put you in a bind. Um, I've never been in a bind because I've always read a ton of reviews. Get Canon batteries. If you get any third party batteries, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna lose some footage and you're gonna be really sorry. So I never did that, but I, I had about a good five batteries with this. So I was ready, I brought my camera. This is all I had was a Canon M50 and my batteries and my kit lens at the time is what I had, which I still have in there. But so I brought it and we met, um, I think it was actually for the first time we met at the condo that he was at that we stayed at for three days. We talked for about an hour, had a great conversation. You know, he brought a camera for me to use. It was actually a little older and outdated. So I ended up using mine. He, he, he knew I was going to bring a camera. That's why he didn't really bring the big nice cameras that he has because really you don't for an expo like that you don't need big cinema cameras that you use for shooting a tv show you just need a camera that will be decent and low light um, which this one everybody knows is okay and low light but it's not the best but iCast was lit pretty well but anyways so the day came, the three days came and went, and he was very satisfied with the footage. Um, the footage did look amazing. Um, I edited a lot of videos for his social media for him, and he was very satisfied. He loved it. Um, and it was all shot on the Canon M50. So after that event, uh, actually the last day of that event, me and him had breakfast um, before we went to the expo. And he literally told me, he's like, Michael, I see something that you probably don't see in yourself. He said, you could be a producer and you can do this full time and you can make a lot of money and just, you can do it. I mean, I know you probably don't see this in yourself right now, but he said, you can do it. Like you can kill it. Um, Cause I seen, I seen the hustle because like it was my first big opportunity. Like in my eyes, this was a huge opportunity because it was, and he was like, Michael, I see it. You know, he just said all these things that I was like, man, I don't know, man. That's like really big and really, you know, massive for you to say, you know, I was like, man, that's crazy. So anyways, we went on the last day and it was good and went home. After that, I got hired for a bunch of other jobs. I got hired for a Tackle Tuesday project that he had, which was in August. Shot it all on this camera. Got hired for another Bass Pro trip. I got hired for a trip in Naples. All these trips he hired me for, and no, it's not because of this camera. This camera was just there. It was because he seen something in me that honestly I didn't see in myself yet. All I knew and all I was taught all my life is to hustle and you know, hustle and don't be lazy and don't get complacent. That's all I was taught my whole life. And, and that's three pet peeves that I have. Like if I ever have an office and I start hiring employees, what they're gonna see in my office is a sign that says complacency will get you fired. Cause I literally hate complacency. That's like the biggest pet peeve that I have is complacency. I hate it. And uh, you know, so I guess me hustling, not ever getting complacent and just, you know, not being lazy, got me all these other jobs from this guy that owns this massive fishing show that airs on CBS Sports. So anyways, fast forward about a couple months, um, he was hiring me, you know, he was booking me so much. I literally said, you know, I, I called him and I told him, I said, man, if this goes on much longer, uh, you know, my, my vacation time and sick time from my work is running low. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. And keep in mind, at this point, he done hired me full time to run his social media as well. So I, I was running his social media full time and I was working full time and I was going on all these shoots as well. So that was a lot to try to manage. So I called him, told him that uh, this ain't going to be able to go on much longer. So he literally said, hey, how much do you need uh, to live on? So I told him how much I need. And then a week later, he called me and said, you know, me and uh, everybody talked in the company and we want to hire you full time to produce our show and to run our social media. I was like, dang, 
I said, okay, um, give me a whole day to think about it. You know, I had to talk to my wife, you know, let her know everything. And it, it was a big move. It was a very big move. And uh, so I did, and obviously everybody knows, you know, we made the jump. Uh, me and Jacenia decided that I would go full time with this TV show. And ever since then, it's been amazing, honestly. Um, I've done shot shows in Houston. Uh, we went to Nevada, Missouri, Mexico, um, and literally everywhere in Florida. It's, it's just awesome. And the whole point of all this is not to brag or boost your head up. The point of this whole video is the title would get you to click on the Canon M50. You know, that's what helped me get here and change my life. And it really did if you think about it because I went and bought this camera because I knew it was a good starter camera. And this camera has literally, we've used it on every single show. I've shot 25, I've produced and shot 25 shows with this TV show, 25. I think eight has already aired um, on CBS Sports of those 25 that I've shot. And in and, and every single show, this little Canon M50, $600 camera, I think it's only 500 without the lens has literally been on every single show and has been used and it looks really good i mean obviously i use it with this lens which is a bigger lens i got a little adapter um, this adapter goes on and bam and then now you have a very good depth of field and you know it's a 2.8 but anyways that's besides the point the point of this video is if you work hard enough you don't have to have the nicest and biggest and awesome best cameras in the world all you need is hustle and passion and determination to, to do it. I mean, you could have a $500 camera. This is all you need. I've been producing, I've produced 28 TV shows and we have so many on the schedule right now um, that we plan on shooting. Like it's not slowing down, it's really good. So yeah, that's the point of this video is, is don't think you know your gear is holding you back. Cause I literally started from cell phones and saved up for a $600 camera that was good enough to get the job done. Like very good, like all you need to shoot for television is 1080p. You don't need 4K. 4K is nice for when you're editing and you might wanna crop in or something, but you can still do that with this. Like if you can crop in for a few seconds, the network is gonna be okay. So get out of your head that you need this camera to, to, to be awesome because you really don't. You just need determination. You need to go on YouTube, learn how to use what you have, save up for something. You know, you don't have to get the best of the best. Like now I have a Canon EOS R, which I freaking love, but I was able to get it because I started out with this and saved up with this and then got a ton of work with this. I've made so much money with this little camera right here. I paid this off about 40 times probably. It's, it's just awesome, probably way more than that. I don't know, but yeah. Cause this I shot with this in Mexico, everywhere. Because like it's it's a good camera, especially with that lens. It's a really good camera. So, anyways, sorry that I rambled a little bit, but that's the premise of this video. Is you know for the third time I think I already said it. Don't think you need the best of the best. Hustle. Don't be lazy, and don't get complacent. Complacency will always get you nowhere, honestly. It, it will get you in on a job, complacency will get you fired. It's just not good. I mean, hustle, hustle, hustle. That's all I can say. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. You know, go out there and shoot and have fun and, and see what you can make. I mean, you can make the coolest stuff. There's a lot of free video editing softwares if you don't, I mean, if you don't wanna pay uh, Final Cut or Premiere, there's DaVinci Resolve, which is I think free, but everybody on YouTube, a lot of people use it and they love it. So if you're really passionate about something and you want to do something, don't make excuses. Go out there and freaking make it happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.